Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm actually going to recreate a makeup look that I've actually already done. <laughs> so I had actually done this makeup look a couple of weeks ago. I'll actually put a picture of it up here on the screen so you can see what one I'm talking about. So as you can see, that makeup look is actually created with Royal Blue. And I think I did mention in that video that I was wanting to also recreate that makeup look using pink. I feel like pink is everywhere at the minute. So what not a better time to do this with pink. Absolutely love it. So. I obviously have a couple of like pink products here, I have a pink base, I have this pink gel liner from um, Colourpop, I have a pink mascara. Because I'm in the process of moving house at the minute, I obviously have some and slash like most of my makeup and mainly all of my eyeshadow palettes packed away so it was a bit of a struggle to try and find a pink eyeshadow palette or a palette that had pink in it but I kept like the Cake Face eyeshadow palette. This is an eyeshadow palette by Time the Infamous. So I'm gonna be using this pink here and it's perfect because it's just like a really nice bright bubblegum pink. And then I just have the ColourPop Bear Necessities palette for obviously the neutrals to do the cut crease. So I just also wanna mention that in that previous tutorial that I had done that was actually inspired by a makeup artist off Instagram. I feel so bad because I actually can't pronounce his name but I will also link his Instagram down below. So this again, isn't something that I have thought up myself. It's still a recreation of his makeup look. So I just kind of want to put that out there. This is also still inspired. Even though it's with a different look, I still want to be respectful and uh, just let you know that this obviously still is inspired by him. So I've already prepped my list with the P. Louise eyeshadow base. So I'm going into the Bare Necessities from Colourpop. And I'm of course just going to start off with a transition. So I'm going to be checking my transition colour on my 01, my 01 Buff and Blend brush. And as per usual, I'm just starting off by popping this just within the crease. So I'm going to start in the inner corner first of all. And then just slowly blend it over. I'm not going to blend it out right to the outer corner by the way because I'm obviously wanting to introduce a wee bit of pink. I'm going to be taking one of my, no, yeah, no, I'm going to take, um, no, yes, no, hold on, one of my 02 brushes and I'm going to go into this shade here. But basically, um, hopefully I get my keys tomorrow. <laughs> so hopefully, honestly, hopefully by the time this video goes up, I could be actually moved into my house, which is... Which is crazy. I could be editing this right now in my own house. <laughs> <sighs> Bless my wee cotton socks. <laughs> I'm still not moved out. I still haven't got my keys either. Hopefully we get our keys tomorrow. So hopefully. <laughs> Gonna go back into that first brush and just give that all a wee blend again. So I'm not going to take my 04, which is my wee boutique blending brush, and I'm going to go into a slightly darker brown. I'm just taking the teensiest wee bit of that. And I'm also just popping that just right within that crease. Okay, so I'm now going to cut my crease using the Mitchell and P. Louise Acid Rain Blink Canvas Base. I'm also going to be cutting my crease with my 05 brush. So I'm basically just going to be doing like a half cut crease. Now I'm going into the Kick Face eyeshadow palette and I'm going to be taking Kick Face which is this bright pink here. I'm going to be taking this on my 02 brush and I'm just going to start by placing this just on that outer corner, kind of creating a bit of a wing with the shadow. I'm just going to take my 05 and actually use this B brush just to pack on that colour. So I'm not going to bring it the full way over just yet, I'm just wanting to mainly focus this in the outer corner for now. So I've taken my 05 and just coating it with that kick face shade and I'm now going to start and create my shape. I'm 
not going to bring it the whole way, I'm just going to bring it like halfway. So I'm not just going to be taking this time to build up that shade, which is basically within that shape and just blend it all out. So kind of just like build it up, blend it out, build it up, blend it out. Oh my god, these are actually so, so good. First couple of times I used them I was like, meh. But the Simple Beauty Liquid Eyeshadows. This is in the shade virtue these are so so good you guys for not only just like liquid liner liquid eyeshadow blend eye or just to act as a base or on the waterline they're very very similar or a more cheaper affordable option to the Pulou's eye bases but I'm just gonna say that they are by far nowhere near the same quality in terms of like the formula and stuff they're just very similar in certain ways and what you can actually do with them um and it comes with like a wee doe foot applicator and all. Oh, love it, yes. The color is gonna be absolutely perfect as well. And they're so affordable. Um, I actually got a lot of these in the Black Friday sale on Black Friday. Um, but they still are like really, really affordable, but they have so many shades, like a black one, a white one, green, blue, purple, yellow. So we're gonna take my 03, which is my flat finer brush. So now I'm going to bring it right into the inner corner. Going on with my 05 and the cake face. Okay. What? <laughs> cake Um, Yeah, cake face. Okay guys, so that's what I've done now. So I'm just gonna start on the skin. I'm gonna be taking the brand new primer from Be Perfect Cosmetics and it's the Perfection Primer. How many times can I say primer? Hmm. Um, yeah, but it's just a wee eliminating primer. <laughs> I wasn't actually expecting it to be very similar to the poor blur and primer that I had, but it's actually not. It's actually a wee bit more... Yeah, I can't explain it. <laughs> So as you can see, it has the tiniest bit of tint to it. It comes in three different shades, by the way. This is obviously the lightest one, which is Champagne Glow. Whoa, okay, holy shit, ski. I have a bit of tan on my face at the minute, and I think that's maybe why it's looking so weird. <laughs> Do you know what? I actually quite like it. It's very, very hard to describe like what it's actually like because it just feels like a moisturiser. Like, so it's quite liquidy and it is quite watery and it does blend into the skin really well but it just leaves like this nice wee dew and glow to the skin. And then I'm pretty sure you know what foundation's coming up so I'm gonna take the Chroma Cover from Be Perfect Cosmetics. I like to mix these two shades, N6 and N3. I actually went on and ordered another one of these foundations last night so hopefully it actually does match me. On the website they actually have like a wee um, shade finder. So basically the foundation that matches my Fake Tan really, really well is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Punjab. Um, so I was actually able to like select that foundation and then it like automatically like calculated or whatever um like my perfect shade in this to like the NARS one if that makes sense so I think I ended up ordering N4 that was apparently like my perfect shade for Punjab so Do you know what's also really annoying is the fact that like every time I have to mix these foundations it's a different colour nearly like, every day. <laughs> Whereas I actually really like the colour of this today. 
Okay, I actually think that's that's a pretty good match, like. <laughs> It's honestly like the most beautiful foundation I have tried in a very long time. It's definitely a new favourite. <laughs> this foundation. Oh, love it. And then go on to conceal with the Juvia's Place Concealer. Taking the shade 22. Oh, sugar, I think I put far too much on. Oopsies! Do you ever do things in life or just say something or yeah just like do something and it's just so embarrassing <laughs> and like months days even years later you're just you're lying in bed at night or you're cooking dinner or you're lying watching tv and you're just like oh. you literally want to crawl up your own asshole and die with embarrassment and like nobody has remembered this embarrassing, embarrassing thing that you've done or you've said, but it just always comes back. <laughs> well, basically this happened to me a couple of days ago and it's still pretty fresh. It's still pretty raw. And every time I think about it, I just want to shrivel up. <laughs> basically I had told somebody that, um, me and Kylie got our house and everything's all good and blah 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 and it was a friend by the way so they were obviously really really excited and <laughs> like they wouldn't like fist bump us so fist bumped Kyle, fist bumped me and I freaked out I didn't know what to do so they fist bumped me and I just grabbed their fist and was like thanks <laughs> as if they had no hand and it was just like a stump or <laughs> and and they were like what are you doing <laughs> I, was like, I don't know <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I don't know why I just grabbed your hands I just seen this fist coming towards me and I just grabbed it <laughs> instead of just being like boom yeah bought myself a house yo <laughs> kill me and like I'm pretty sure like they literally cannot even remember that this happened but I do and years to come I'm gonna be thinking of this moment still the HMB Holly Boone Cosmetics Concealer in the shade 5W and I'm obviously gonna be using this to cream bronze oh shush My stomach is constantly rumbling easy that blends out like me at what are you serious like it's just so effortless honestly see with this concealer that she has created she has done stuff <laughs> oh i do not know why i don't see more people talking about this concealer if you haven't tried it already please do please come and try it it's honestly it's so so good i'm gonna take in the p louise base as blush this is in the shade winter rose so i've actually seen quite a few people using the p louise blushes as or the p louise bases as blushes by the way so this should be interesting i don't really know how much to put on though oh so i'll just put on three wee farts on each side I'm gonna put a wee bit more on actually. I can see it the tiniest, 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 tiniest wee bit, but I think it's actually blended out that well that it's blended out to nothing, which I'm not mad at. There's nothing worse than a product that doesn't blend out, so I suppose there's a happy medium, but I'm not gonna complain. I can always apply more. So whenever I'm applying like my cream blush, by the way, I always like to go in at pattern motions, whether I'm using a brush or a sponge. Hey, what am I doing? I usually always use a brush for this. Oh well, doesn't really matter. But basically whenever I'm applying cream blush, I always like to just go in at pattern motions. I don't like to like swipe.
wipe or anything like that because I don't want to lift up or move any of the underlying product. I'm literally just wanting to dab everything. Do you know that's actually not bad? I can actually see it a wee bit more now. I think it's maybe the shade um, because my cheeks are a wee bit dark at the minute because of my foundation, tan, whatever, all that good stuff. You can just see the most faint wee pink kiss of colour coming through. <laughs> um, but do you know what? It's actually blended out really, really well. I think I actually will use more colours for blush. I'm gonna do a wee bit of Becca now with the Hourglass Fail Translucent Powder. So it's actually been quite a while since I've used this wee highlighter. It's the Colourpop and Barbie highlight. Just thought I'd use this today, you know. So I think I'm actually going to finish off my eyes whenever I finish putting on this highlight because I'm not feeling this look and I don't know what it is. I just... Mm. So I'm wanting to get lashes on, do my lower lash line play with some more pink stuff and see what we can do but I'm just not feeling it for some reason I just think it looks a bit dirty or is it just me so I'm gonna go back into this little beauty liquid eyeshadow and I'm gonna take this on my 03 brush I'm also gonna take the little beauty liquid eyeshadow and I'm gonna run this along my lower lash line whole way over to the inner corner. I'm just going to blend this out. So I'm not too sure how this is going to blend out or what it's going to look like. This is the first time I've done this so hopefully it looks okay. Seems to be blended out okay, actually. Okay, so I'm now going to go into the Cake Face palette, also with the P. Louise brush and the shade Cake Face. I'm also going to take my 02 brush in this Sephora blush and I'm going to take a wee bit of that and just blend that lower lash line out a wee bit. maybe starting to come together now actually okay so that's lashes on and I'm gonna be checking this MEA makeup Academy intense color super pigment mascara and what shade is this just pink but this color is absolutely gorgeous it's just like a nice bubblegum pink so I've not used this yet so I don't actually know what it's like but I'm just going to put this on my lower lash lines, of course. My lower lash lines. Hmm. My lower lashes. <laughs> I feel like whenever you do a look like this and you use a colour of mascara, it literally just, like, I don't know, it just pulls the whole look together. I have a wee bit of lashes here that are clumping up together and that's driving me insane. But we're just going to ignore it and continue. Sorry, right, isn't it? So I'm going to top my blush up with just this wee Sephora blush here in the shade I'm in love. I do apologise that I won't be able to link this because we don't get a Sephora over here, so I do apologise. I think I actually got this in... Oh no, do you know why actually? I was actually bought this. Yeah, somebody actually bought me this blush, but all the other Sephora products that I do have, I got in the Sephora in Poland. 
Okay, so now for the H&B Cosmetics Soft Focus Powder. This is in the shade Medium Tan. There's just a load of powder on the lid, so I'm going to take a wee bit of that. But yeah, like as I say, obviously I have the translucent shade of this powder and it's just, it's absolutely flawless. It really, really is. It just makes my under eyes look so flawless and poreless. And it's just so, so smooth looking on the skin. That I kind of thought that this was actually such a good idea to use for a bronzer. I'm taking the tiniest wee bit at a time, just in case. Okay, so then for lips, I do apologise that again I'm going to be using the exact same combo. So at BFF. <laughs> Colourpop by Colourpop Lip Liner BFF And then I also just went in with the El Maquillage Matte Glory Lipstick And I'm actually going to try and put a wee bit of the P. Louise Eye Base on my lips as well actually <laughs> So I'm just putting a wee bit of that just in the centre Oh dear. So I don't do pink lips at all, but maybe we want to try a wee bit of pink in the centre or something. Oh god. Oh hell no. Nope. At least we tried it. <laughs> Do you know what? I think now that everything's all put together, I'm kind of liking it a wee bit more. I really wasn't feeling it there for a while, but yeah, I actually really, really like it. But shall we do another one of these colours? Purple, orange, green. I think green would be really nice, actually. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video.